Good morning. It is what is today? Today's Wednesday, no, Tuesday, and I have a new plan. I have a we have what is that? Reverse dieting now, so we're like recovering the body from being in such a deficit. So yeah, um, I've got to go grocery shopping. I gotta go pick up a dog. I gotta go pick up a package. So we have a lot to go through. But first. I want to go through my dark sport haul, so let's go through that first. First, let's go with the tanks. Let's go with this white one first. It's just nice. This one's like a dry fit type the um texture. I got a large because the medium got sold out, so I got a large and. Well, this is a white tank. It's a dry fit feeling one. Pretty nice. Pretty basic, just says wolves in the front. <laughs> but I really needed a white tank. Navy on the side. It looks black, but it's really navy. Got this in a size medium. This one's pretty nice. Got the little side hits with the wolves in the front or in the side. Then you just got a red lettering embroidered um, wolves. So pretty dope. Pretty dope. It's like a washed vintage gray with some lettering and stuff. But this one's nice. Got the wolves forever and never fucking give up. 2023 and then in the back you think you got the same and then you got the little wings also in the back hint I really like the t-shirts. They got like that vintage feel and look to them and My favorite piece of this whole thing is this sweatshirt. I love this sweatshirt. It's so fire This gray sweatshirt and it feels so comfortable too, so I'm going to be wearing this sweatshirt today, and yeah, feels super, super nice, and it's like relaxed, relaxed fit, really like it, so yeah, that's my dark sport haul, well, I'm going to go head over and take out my sister's dog, and then go get a package, so, well, let's go. Before we do all these errands, we gotta eat, so. We're reverse dieting, so we got three eggs and 100 grams of egg whites with two pieces of toast underneath. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I'm gonna eat this real quick and then we'll head out. All right, well, I'm at the grocery store, so let's go pick up some groceries that I need for my new diet. So, take you guys with me. Let's go. You guys have 93.7 ground beef? Um, yeah, we do. Our, $93.7. We are back home. Let me show you what I got. I know you guys only saw a glimpse of some stuff that I got, but, and you saw the total, right? Let me show you what I got. What y'all got to? That's Wanna see how big Katsu's getting? Look how big he's got. He used to be so small. Sorry. Alright, well, let's go ahead and show you what I got. We got egg whites. We've got chicken breast. This was buy one, get one free. So, yeah. Pretty good deal. Some broccoli that I'm going to cook. Some zucchini. At least we got 93.7 ground beef. You know how much this costs? This costs 30 bucks for this. 30 fucking bucks. It's expensive. So yeah, I'm gonna ask my coach if I could like change my plan to like only use this once a me one meal, cause this is expensive. But yeah, I'm gonna start cooking because I am hungry. All right, time to hit the gym. I'm ready to go 
and hit a back and bicep workout. So I um have to mow the lawn later, so I gotta work out early and then yeah. So I have 30 minutes cardio and then we're hitting back and buys. So I just need to figure out a shoe to wear. Hmm. Travis guys, but you know that's the typical hype beast to me. So let's go with something new. What about some orange lobsters? Or or I'm just kidding. Um feeling it. I feel like I feel like SBs only go good with pants. That's just me. I think I'm just gonna go with my ideas. I think that's why I bought this sweatshirt in the first place. So we picked out some shoes. It took the fucking longest time. Put this into the gym bag. So yeah, I don't know what to do with my headphones. So we're going to. There's somewhere here. I think they're still in my backpack. Yes, they are. So, the only thing I'm looking for is my rubber silicone things that I put on my AirPods so when I'm sweaty, they don't go into the, was that the headset piece? Like the earpiece? So it gets really stank. Got everything. Let's head to the gym. Almost forgot my tripod. How else am I gonna record today's workout? Like, let's go take out, take a look over the grass. Look at this grass right now. See how long it is? I have to cut that shit today. I have to cut it today before. It gets out of hand. So there we go. All right, it is hot. Surprisingly, surprisingly hot. So we're gonna head to the gym, kill this workout. We're gonna record. We're gonna fucking. We need to get a mic. So I'm gonna do another commentary. And yeah, I have a plan already. Like a. Like a workout plan. It's like the same one I've been doing, but I think I'm gonna mix it up today. So let's see how that goes. Yo, what is up? Welcome to the workout. We're doing a little voiceover. Um, so starting it off the, with the back, we're doing straight arm lat pullovers and really getting a good stretch and a good squeeze at the bottom. I believe I only did 10 reps here. This was my last set uh, and yeah. Next off, we have pull-ups. Pull-ups are so good for your back, I promise. Like, you could get rid of every single back exercise and just stick to pull-ups and your back will grow. Um, but really trying to bring my chest to the bar and not my chin. So we're not doing like an army, like trying to see how many pull-ups we can do. We're really focusing on form. So next off, we have barbell bent over rows and really really focusing on form because i have pinched a nerve doing heavy lifting on this movement and i'm not going to be doing that anymore so really like trying to bring that barbell to my belly button sticking my chest out at the top and then bringing my elbows back as far as i can to get a good squeeze um a good tip is to think of uh to start off the form like doing a stiff leg deadlift and then start rowing but next neutral grip pull downs they these are probably my favorite pull down um, grips just because you can go super heavy and form for me always stays in check with this one because you don't really have anywhere to go to like flare out your elbows or like you know i don't know like when you're doing um, regular grip pull over pull downs it's easier for you to mess up the form so I did not go too heavy on these I went fair fairly heavy like I think I got to like 140 140 ish pounds on the the weight over here 
and yeah just really keeping a nice tempo not swinging or jerking really trying to pull it down as far as i can like to my chest and getting a good stretch making sure my shoulders stay kind of retracted as i can but you can only do so much but here we go next workout we got the hammer strength cur uh not curls rose aka the batmobile so or the latmobile but over here really getting a focusing on the stretch like bringing it forward and then bringing it back and kind of twisting my body to bring it closer to my hip or to my side as i can but it's the fourth movement and i was getting kind of tired so form doesn't look too good here but we'll get better we'll get better at this point um but yeah really trying to s make sure i can bring uh the handle as close to my side as i can and keeping my elbow kind of close to my body too while i'm pulling and trying to bring it to my hip so this off season we're focusing on form and making sure we're doing the movement correctly but also making sure that we go as heavy as we can while keeping form in check and next off we have shoulders didn't really think that i was gonna do shoulders but like I don't know, I used my um, show f uh, photo and just use that as motivation or, you know, just something in my head because I look at that and it shows like I have no shoulders, I have no like, there's like nothing, it doesn't make it look like I'm gonna have a V taper or anything. So we're going to grow the shoulders this off season and really we, just, we, we need the shoulders to get way bigger. Um, so we're going to do shoulders every single day, except on rest days and leg day. But every single upper day, we're going to incorporate some kind of shoulder workout in there. Rather it be rear delts, front raises, side raises, military press, dumbbell press, you name it. We're going to do some kind of shoulder workout during uh, this off season every single upper day. Next, we have biceps. I hate biceps. Biceps are the worst. It they just they just burn different, and the pump is way different, and it 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 hurts. But you know we're not some. I'm not gonna say the word, but you know. Uh, we're we're gonna grind. We're gonna grind. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna grow the biceps. It is a weak part of my body because I never really like to train them just because they hurt so much before. And I would only do like one exercise every time I did like back or I would do it only like once a week. But yeah, now we're going to incorporate biceps more into our workouts, doing like two to three on our back days. And yeah, so that's pretty much the workout for my back and by day. Uh, I guess my coach is slowly making me transition in and then he's gonna give me a new workout plan soon so hopefully we get that and we can record a new back workout chest workout leg workout all that so here's some posing at the end we are also during this off season we're going to pose every single day to practice the posing um i this this past show that i did the first show i've ever did posing <laughs> i I don't even like to watch the video of me doing posing because it's just so off. You could tell I didn't practice. I didn't do anything. I was so concerned on just me losing the weight and then everything else will show and not practice posing. But posing is so crucial when it comes to this sport. Like you really have to know how to flex every single muscle, how your body looks and how it works when you're posing. Really, really, really crucial in this sport. But yeah. Uh, one thing I also need to work on is my back, um, my back pose. It it needs a lot of work, and as you can see here, yeah, I don't know what the hell that was, but yeah, we're just gonna get better. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this workout. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Well, just got done with the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a pretty intense workout. I got a good pump feeling good uh reverse dieting it's like the first day of reverse diet so like i don't know i feel i feel good i still feel fairly lean 
not as lean as it was show day. I mean, it's only been three days, but yeah, I think I've gained like eight pounds since, or maybe ten, I think ten pounds because lowest weight was 143, uh, and then now I weigh 153. So yeah, ten pounds. It's all right, but I'm gonna go home, eat a meal. And then we have to mow the lawn. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go do that. And we're going to sweat some more. I just got done doing cardio as well. I did 30 minutes. And honestly, like taking that break from cardio, the 30 minutes today was so easy. Like, I wasn't even struggling, nothing. It's only on level 8. And, yeah, it was pretty easy today so like usually I'll like hold on most of the time like I'll lean forward and use the armrest but today like I actually did 20 minutes non-stop not holding on so yeah it's pretty good we're making progress we're getting better we are ready for next year we're gonna fuck shit up I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna redeem myself dude like yeah I'm so fucking like motivated and disciplined right now like I have a whole box of Krispy Kremes right now, and I'm not even going to touch them. I had, like, I had one yesterday, but, yeah. That's because my diet didn't start till today, and I'm fucking ready to fucking just get back on track. So, let's get it. Finally back home. I'm eating a meal real quick because I have to go mow the lawn, like I said. And yeah. Eat this and then go do that real quick. What? You need me to make the pile though, so you can get Well, um, gonna drink this, the last meal of the day. I was supposed to eat rice cakes with it, but I kind of ate a little bad today. So I'm just gonna save those carbs for tomorrow and go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is pretty much what I, is like my reverse diet. Um, didn't really show you the other two meals, but it's pretty much like a plain diet. Um, my other meal that I had was, were supposed to be actually, was a uh, chicken and potatoes. And then my last meal was supposed to be this with um, some Kodiak cakes. So yeah, um, I kind of dropped the ball on that. I um, was running low on time. We Since we cut the grass, we had to go clean the bank. We had to go to my sister's place to go take her dog out because she's on vacation. So we just we just had a lot going today i didn't think i was gonna be that busy and cutting the grass kind of like took 
a lot out of me. I was like dripping sweat while doing that shit. It was like kind of hot and I was wearing a sweater. But yeah. Alright, well, sorry about that. I got cut off. I uh, lost the mm, storage in my memory card. I had to delete the video. So um, yeah, this is my last meal. Yeah, I'm going to drink this before I go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to upload as much as I can for this post off season prep. So thank you all for sticking with me. Go ahead and like the video, share, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.